After Hezbollah and Israeli forces exchanged deadly fire at the Israeli-Lebanon border, Hezbollah's supreme leader Hassan Nasrallah has said that his group's attack on Israel on Sunday targeted a military intelligence base near Tel Aviv. حددنا هدفا اساسيا العمليه هدف اساسي في العمق وهو ما ساعلن عنه الان وهي قاعده جليلوت However Israeli military says there were no hits at the Gililot base Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has warned that Israel's preemptive strike on Lebanon is not the end of the story מה שהיה היום זה לא סוף פסוק. חיזבאללה ניסה לפנות בוקר לתקוף את מדינת ישראל ברקטות ובכטב"מים. אנחנו הנחינו את צה"ל לבצע מתקפת מנע עצימה להסרת האיום. צה"ל השמיד אלפי רקטות, אלפי רקטות קצרות טווח, והן כולן היו מיועדות לפגוע באזרחינו ובכוחותינו בגליל. בנוסף, צה"ל יירט את כל הכטב"מים. שחיזבאללה שיגר למטרה אסטרטגית במרכז הארץ. אנחנו מכים בחיזבאללה במעלומות מחץ מפתיעות. The Lebanese caretaker Prime Minister Najib Mikati said government is making efforts to stop the escalation. The Prime Minister made the statement after a ministerial meeting which took place to follow up on the developments in the south of the country. Meanwhile, Israeli forces released a video showing its targeted strikes on Hezbollah's military posts across southern Lebanon. The Lebanese group says two of its operatives have been killed in Israeli fire. Hezbollah says its attack is an initial response to a top commander's killing, Fuad Shukr. The Lebanese group has said it began an air attack with a large number of drones targeting areas deep into Israel. Hezbollah fighters have also targeted enemy positions and barracks and iron dome platforms with rockets. It fired more than 320 Katyusha rockets targeting 11 military bases in northern Israel. Hezbollah says it targeted Israel's surveillance Meron base and four sites in the Golan Heights. Israel says it hit thousands of Hezbollah rocket launchers. Now in Lebanon's capital many travelers are stranded at the Beirut airport after the cross-border fire between the Israeli forces and Hezbollah. Air France has also canceled its flights to Tel Aviv and Beirut. till monday انا بدي شيء اطلع من هون بكل وسائل يعني جربت اطلع بالبر جربت بدي احيي الله طيران احيي الله شيء بدي اطلع من هون تروح دبر حالي يمكن ما الاقي بدي اقعد جمعه ما بعرف قد ايه بدي اقعد بالاردن بس مهم اطلع من هون Israeli Defense Minister Yoav Gallant has declared a 48-hour state of emergency across the country. Gallant also briefed his US counterpart on the strikes saying they are closely monitoring the developments. US President Joe Biden has directed US officials to continuously communicate with Israel and National Security Spokesperson has reassured that US will keep supporting Israel's right to defend itself. As hostilities between Israel and Lebanon-based Iranian-backed proxy group Hezbollah escalated with heavy exchange of fire, Vion spoke to geopolitical experts across the globe to get a perspective on whether the recent flare-up would spark a wider regional conflagration. Listen to these reactions. Israel was able to successfully prevent to intercept uh, attack at strategic sites in central Israel. um by 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 sending uh, tens of aircrafts hitting hundreds of uh, targets all of them in southern lebanon not the beirut area and there is an effort to signal this is for now what we want we do not want to extend this uh, escalation events are changing by the minute uh, as we speak the hezbollah attack which was prevented was a apparently much much larger than actually uh, or intended to be much much larger than the one that took place and the israeli air force succeeded in destroying a very very large number of their launchers so things could have been much worse and this may have been part of a 
uh, a Hezbollah and actually Hamas plan to try and draw Israel into a wider uh, regional conflict. It is very possible that Hezbollah was aiming at attacking uh, his main uh, Israeli power stations and uh, an Israeli industrial uh, in, uh, infrastructure in the country. And this was, uh, and the fact that Israel used the hundred aircraft to to attack these targets before they attacked Israel goes to show that first and foremost, a major strike against the state of Israel was uh, was uh, thwarted. And it also shows that Hezbollah was going to take a step which, if it would have been allowed to carry out, would have led to a major war in this region. This is a part of the military tact tactics. <clears throat> so if they say this is the first, uh, it may mean that there are others. It may mean that this uh, I'm keeping the enemy away, waiting and uh, uh, keeping uh, alert, so uh, we don't know what uh, is the uh, the real reason by, for saying this. However, we know that uh, Hezbollah and definitely, uh, which, uh, which is backed by Iran, they are avoiding a real escalation. I think that this is also apart from conveying a message that it was a revenge uh, by them for Fuad Shuk's killing or Ismail Hainia's killing, but it is also in order to continue to maintain the pressure on the international community with regard to the ceasefire talks that are going on in Cairo uh, simultaneously. And in which it appears that again, it's going to be rather elusive. So I think that these are all tactics that are being deployed by both sides.